roku 2004 som si uplatnila reštitúciu a keďže odtedy už značná doba uplynula, som sa prišla informovať, v akom štádiu táto moja žiadosť je, či treba niečo... When I went to school, I felt that it was a good school. My mother is a lawyer. I was certainly influenced by that. I said to myself, when I finish school, I would be okay. It's very good to be a lawyer. That's the life. No? Hey, hey, už idem. Už ju tekam, hej, platí zápas dneska o pol štvrtej na Botovej. S Tatránom ráme, hej. Už len dačo dorobím a utekám. Dobre, čau, vidíme sa tam, ahoj. Či má právo nejaký súvis s tým, čo mám rád? Is there any connection between law and playing football? There isn't. Football is a kind of relaxation. Úplne, úplne iná ako práca, ktorú robím. Ono, že je to práve taký ventil. I got into coaching and football at Salesians. My best friend Tono and I went to a match at Salesians. I don't know how I got there. I can't remember who opened the door, but it was a tall man. Then I learned that it was the priest, Palo Zivi, and there was this conversation at the door. Do you play football? Yes, I do. I play for Ljubotica. Can you play football well? I think so. You are going to be the football coach of Kama. I didn't have any idea what it was. I said to myself, no way. In those days, I was a rebel. I wore an earring, I had some tattoos. Life was something different for me. After half a year, I started to play football for Salesians, and gradually I took responsibility for training, as well as about what I do. I've been a coach since 2004, when I took charge of the boys at Salesians, Little Karma. It was such a strong group of friends, they inspired each other, they were winning tournament after tournament. Jeden, dva, tri, štyri, päť, šesť. Šestý kolik červený. Dobre, že by si v tom území bol a tak dva metre od šiary. Dobre? Ja som v tom čase mal... I had the feeling that I was young because the boys were six or seven years younger than me. But I felt that if I didn't do it, there was nobody to do it. Do stredu za lohy pôjde zabehať. Ja som chcel ísť do stredu. Ja chcem zabehať. Dobre, Filip pôjde do stredu. Na stranu pôjde Brandon. And Manian and I decided to give something more to our boys, not only to train them and play tournaments with them in the summer and winter, but to play with them daily and to rise to the level of activity. He started as a coach in a junior team. Mali Šarš had poor results in those days. We lost our first two matches. Semo wasn't there. He was in Italy. When he returned, the team, we could say, became stronger, and we won almost everything. We progressed into a higher league. It might have been the best year I ever had. That joy of every match. Joy from the people who I was meeting there every Sunday. The joy which put me in a great mood for all week. Because I had won a match with five, six or seven goals. Mainly because of Semo. It was really great. When a boy comes, I always ask him a simple question. Can you play football? And what is interesting, no one answered that he was not able to. I always smile about it, and in a couple of minutes, I will show them that they cannot. I've met 100, 120, maybe 150 boys, and I can truly say that hardly any of them was able to play football. Volunteer coaching brings me these boys because they cannot play. If they were able to, they would play for better teams. I like working with them. I prefer playing with those who cannot play, but gradually they learn and work on themselves. I like these virtuous boys. I remember that he always tells me, from the line to the center. I was never able to play football, I could just run. So we used it. 
I'll never forget what Semo told me in our third training session, that I should have tried any other sport but football because I was not able to walk. And in three years, I became the captain of the team, which was trained by him, and I was the top scorer. Many boys like me, but I know that sometimes I get on their nerves because of my temperament. Semo Semo's quite a good coach. But when I came to the second training session, he told me to find another sport. I was rather sad, but I must say that I enjoy it here and we have a wonderful team. How do I differ from other coaches? I'm a kind of active coach. I do not sit on the bench. All the people who know me can see that the zone next to the bench does not belong to me. So I go to the other side and I move along the pitch. I'm a choleric type, as I mentioned, so I argue with referees, fans. I'm something like the 12th player of the team on the pitch. What I like most about him is he can cheer up the team when they are down. He knows how to awaken forces within us and how to make the team stronger. Then we all fight. The recipe for winning is to put a team together well. I learned many times that it's not the best players who win games, I mean in football terms, but the boys who want to give everything in a match. This year it happened as well. The best players were not playing and they still won. On the other hand, better players lost against a worse team. Semo is, in my opinion, a very good person and he can use his good nature well to bring young people up. Maybe I have a gift for it, a temperament. I'm sanguinic and choleric. Maybe it's good that someone is a friend to them, someone who makes jokes, but can criticize them as well. Sometimes he is a bit stressed, but during matches he cheers us up in the dressing room at halftime. It's useful to shout at us, because otherwise our effort would drop. Semo is a good coach, but he has a lot of trouble with us. They come to us because they feel good. They're with adults who are their friends. They do not have that at school. Hardly any teacher is a friend. I saw him as a friend, as he was my boss, my coach. I do not have a problem to be on familiar terms with them. They are the same to me. We go for trips together, then friendships are made when they tell me about things which they do not tell their parents. What we see is football. It ends when the referee blows. But when someone sends you a text message, if he hasn't seen you in a couple of months, to see whether things are okay, how you are, you simply cannot replace. It's life. This is Marek. It's so because I put myself at their level. I'm a coach, but a coach friend. Maybe it's sometimes harmful, maybe it's not at the same level as in other teams, but I think this has some higher meaning. There are too few of these volunteers to be found these days, maybe one in a thousand. I don't realize I'm a volunteer. I accept that it is so. I don't think of this word as something special. Simply, I'm a coach. I like doing it, and I don't mind whether I do it for money. During all that time he spent with us as a volunteer, the only reward for him was feedback. Football is all about emotions. That feedback was not always positive. That critic is my father. He asks me what I have from it, and I answer that I have very much. We won a great number of victories. I cannot remember them all, but I remember the boys who won them, their birth years, and what I like most about it is the fact that when we meet in the street, we have a lot to talk about. We always talk about football, but also how we are. Once we were at a cottage and I accidentally broke my leg. 
I realize that football is not only about winning, it's not the only aim, but it's a means. At first I could not understand it, I had a problem to see it. I pushed the boys to win, but then I realized that there's something more, we went to cottages. During the six years he trained me and all the boys around me, he told us about the basic tenet. Football is not an aim, it's only a way. I understand here that everyone can play football. It's for all, and it could be done well as a person sees it from the other side, that there is something more important. But I'm a competitive kind. I like winning, so I demand a lot from the boys, but I try to give them more too. Thank you.